Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squawk, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, loud, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme Court. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get those drinks together, get your seats, and honey, get ready, because these shows are ones for the books. You already know how it goes, girl. You about to go to trial. Ah! <laughs> the Queen's Supreme Court starts now. Am I loud? Wait, am I am I really loud? Wait, bitch, I need to girl, give me my cup, Brad. They just told me I was loud. Wait. I don't believe them. That, uh, wait a minute, cra- wait, bitch, yes. Uh-huh. Yes, bitch. Yes, put that right here. Yes. What? Bitch, I'm loud, bitch. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, everybody? Welcome 
to the Queen's Supreme Court. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, I ain't seen this good bitch. That shit was, you want me to pull me some? Bitch, I need you to pull me some oxygen. Oxygen? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to pull me some more in that, in that glass? Go ahead. Now, let the spirits use you. Fuck it. Re re rest down in that bucket and get you some. Ooh, oh, ooh, I thought he said one more again. <laughs> <laughs> rest down in that bucket. Put you some ice in there. Okay. Put a little bit more ice. See, I, I gotta. I'm just gonna give you a splash. Just a splash. Lord Jesus. Y'all remember how you, I am before I'm gonna I give finish you, this splash. I'm gonna give you just a splash of what I'm drinking. Oh, it is a Listen. Splash. Oh, oh, it's a splash. Oh, okay. I've been drinking. Oh. I've been drinking. <laughs> Them dicks be big when that liquor go deep off in me. I've been drinking. What? Watermelon. Well, let me drink some. You, oh. You you gonna be all night, ain't you? I'm gonna be all night. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Like Joe. <laughs> Welcome, my co-host for the night, Miss Nikki Nicole. <laughs> now, a lot of you guys may not know who Nikki Nicole is. That and fuck y'all, and fuck y'all, cause y'all <laughs> niggas is all mad since about who she is, bitch. Who is y'all? That's right. Come right. to my Nikki. Come okay. to my. Listen, Nikki All Nicole. All y'all is at the week office, bitch. Nick, okay. Yeah, the week office. <laughs> My girl Nikki, I haven't seen you in about seven years, girl. I got class. Yeah, I haven't seen you about seven years. Yeah. She and I were together on the on the uh, on Candy Coated Nights. Yes, yes. I was I was the first transgender woman. You was. I was the first transgender woman to sit on Candy Candy Burris' couch. Yes, you was. It was so much fun. Oh, was we had a good Me time. Me and you connected. Really good. We like, was over there getting drunk. You had a red cup. We was getting drunk. We was getting toasted. Okay, like that. And I, listen, y'all was telling me to keep it classy, but we well, don't. I, I don't remember we, that. We don't keep it classy. No, but, uh, but they wanted me to keep it classy because you know I got, you know I'm a, you know I get loose. We all was loose. No, but they did. It was something about that night they didn't want me to be an overdose. But we over here on my platform. Now we're on the Queen's Supreme motherfucking court, bitch. And we about to cut the fuck up, the bitch. Fuck up. Make some noise in this bitch. He could wait. He could wait to make some noise. I don't need to suck nothing that got holes in it. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. oh. So okay. let's get right on into it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the docket is not going to be long tonight, but it's going to be about something, Strong. something. All right. First up on the court ledger, we have, as you already know, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj's tussle. Lord Jesus. Is there, Craig, was there a beat? Was, uh, Here, we got it, the audio from, from Nicki. You want a video of the fight? Please. Let's get fight. to the fight. Do we, do we need to? So why would you put out this Cardi statement first and not the battle? Who's going to read that shit? I'm not reading all that shit. I'm not reading all that shit. I'm reading the public school. I'm not reading all that shit. I'm not reading all that shit. I'm not reading all that shit because I know she damn sure didn't write that. That's too right. For real. No shit. Let me just jump right on this. Fuck all that. Okay. First of all, these girls was down there at New York Fashion Week, girl. We all seen it. The world seen it. Everybody in the world talking about it. Right. Bitch. Okay. You mean to tell me you put on your good shoes, your kitten heel, your biscuit. <laughs> your shoe land. Your shoe land shoes. <laughs> to go down here and peel out of your outfit to bump with the queen. Listen, I need to say this. And I, I'm not scared of none of y'all bar, Barty, Barty gang. I'm not scared of none of y'all motherfuckers. So let me just go ahead on and say this shit. I ain't got no beef with, with uh, 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 Cardi B, none, period. I got beef with the shit that's going on. Can somebody run me Cardi B's accolades, her good accolades? Does anybody know Cardi B's good accolades? Mm -hmm. She has what she 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 has how many number ones out? A lot. She has a lot of number ones out, right? How many? I don't know because I don't really keep up with Cardi like that. A I like Cardi. I, I like her come up, but she got how many number ones? So nobody in the room could tell me. A lot. Uh -huh. I said it. Yeah, it's a lot. I said okay. B, a she lot. got a lot of number one stuff. She she she's she's bleeding in the pack right now and the mm -hmm. things with uh, uh, with 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 this whole situation with Nikki, whatever it is, supposedly. Mm -hmm. And it, why, if you are in this realm of where you are, do you stoop back down to a certain situation to a certain Can level? Can I say something? 
Come on. Winston said it on his show today. Uh huh. What he said? Okay, he was talking about if somebody talks about your child. What she? What she said? Well, I need to see the receipts. I'm like Whitney. Where's the receipts? What she talked about? Where okay, she, so she talked about the woman's child. Where? Where is that? Me having a child. I don't play that shit. If it's another child talking about my child, I'm in a child face like, what's up? I don't care. Where are the receipts? I need to see the receipts. Now, I love Nikki and I love Cardi B. You can't make me choose an apple over a banana. I like both of them. You can't say they two different type of people. They two different type of styles, two different everything. Craig, so, where are the receipts? She don't want to talk about that. Well, we don't have any receipts of actually Cardi saying anything, but we do No, have... no, Nikki. Where are the receipts of Nikki talking about the woman? This is, this is Saying it, right? about the woman's child. Where are the receipts? We're going to run this first it, one right here. Okay. So this is a receipt? Well, this is this is not a receipt. This is Nikki Do we really think that saying, Cardi B would get that mad? And she didn't. She hasn't gotten that mad yet. Where are the receipts? Where, 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 where are they? Where they at? Where the receipts at? This is the audience. I can't really try a case that ain't got no receipts. At all. There are no okay, receipts. Okay, can I? Of I want to. I want to give a sentence. Can I give a no, sentence? No, you can't sentence. How you gonna give a sentence when we ain't got no? Where's the evidence? Okay, so this is this is this is family court right now. <laughs> okay. Where the receipts at? Both of them need to write a rap song, a whole mixtape, apologizing to each other. Why? For what? For what? Because y'all some grown ass women. You got motherfuckers watching you and you need to goddamn apologize. What is the beef really about? What is it still from? The woman from? said the what beef is... What is it still is from from one, day one, for real? Okay, well, from my understanding... Women can't work together. Women can't... Women be hating on each other. I hate that shit. Women cannot work together. I hate that shit. Women, we need to work together. You know? You ain't the only... We, we, it's all kind of pussies. It's all kind of talented people. All kind of titties. All kind of shit going on. We need to work together and stop tripping. First, before we get down to what we need to do, we need to find the receipt. That's what I need <laughs> for number one, period. Second, okay, the, the, we're, we're going to handle the issue at hand. The woman, said, Cardi said that, say one more thing about my child, okay? From what I, well, from what I saw. Okay. Okay? I, uh, 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 she said, welcome home to Kodak Black. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, Amen. Right. Okay, this stemmed from her saying, welcome home to Kodak Black. And then somebody said, how you support a oh, child, a rapist, with a, and Nikki liked the comment. Okay. Allegedly. That's allegedly, what, right? Okay. Allegedly. Photoshop. This is allegedly. Put it up to you. Allegedly. This is allegedly lit Nikki like the comment. Am I correct? Like right. I'm, I'm following. I'm following. 2015. Right? Okay. From 2015. Right. A like yeah. comment. Okay. So this oh. this stems from a liked comment, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're gonna move from this stemming from a like comment to the kid. Where? Where was the verbiage about the uh, the child? Let me ask you something, T.S. Do you want them to make you, up yes or no? I yes want them. No. Uh, listen. Yes or no? There's sometimes you can't make up with a motherfucker. Sometimes you can't do it. Sometimes. So you don't want them to do the album? I would like, not, I would like for them to be, but it, well, in a perfect world, yes. But at this time, it's the beef going on right now. At this time, in this moment in space, there's a beef right now. And they are two artists. They are two artists. And if they are rappers, I need them to handle the beef. How? In the, in the street, in the rap streets. In the booth? In the studio. In the booth. Okay. Handling it in the booth. In I don't, booth. Now, we don't need to lose these two women to right. some unnecessary right. stuff right. about about them heated with each other. Now, no shade. It'll be another seven-hour funeral. Wait, listen, oh. listen. No shade. If you listen to if you listen to Nikki's album, it does sound like that Nikki has been wearing her out. It does. Ooh. But when I was on Queen Radio today, and I and I brought that up to Nikki, Nikki stated to me that she had written Hard White after the Remy situation, so that could have been for Remy. Mm -hmm. She had written a lot of this stuff a time before. Now, yes, she is at the moment the reigning queen in the in the business. Nikki's worth seventy five million. Mm -hmm. Amen. Cardi B is worth four. Ooh. am I correct? Period. Mm -hmm. Okay, now me, if I'm worth $75 million, I'm not taking off no heel, no lash, no motherfucking uh, 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 earring to battle with anybody that, that's worth $4 million. Okay. And if I'm worth $4 million, I'm not taking off no heel, no lash, no eyelash, no nothing, and no earring to be fighting at a place where it's a whole heap of how did What's Nikki say today? Upper echelon. echelon. Up, upper echelon individuals. Bitch, I'm worth $75. Okay, okay so will you Millie. fight for 75 I'm worth seventy five dollars, bitch, and I'm not gonna be at the New York Fashion Week. I'll fight for seventy five. For seventy five? Bitch, I'm worth seventy five dollars. 
And I ain't gonna be at, at New pie. York Fashion Week fighting nobody that I got no beef with. I'm not gonna do it. At seventy five dollars, I would take the risk because then your name is no in the news, and then you're gonna get more publicity. So I think that would be a good thing. To but do. what are you getting publi publicity? Bobby Brown, for? come on. What? What are you getting publi publicity for? When the shit, listen. When all this stuff is said in the yes, Cardi's still gonna be Cardi because the people love Cardi. Right. The people do love Cardi and Nicki. And the people definitely do love Nicki. Right. But I'm gonna say this: At what point do you leave the ratchet in the ratchet? Well, for, I, do you want them to be true to themselves or not? What you mean true to themselves? We we know Cardi B to be ratchet to fight to pop off. So now we want like this is what kills me when people make it. We expect them to change. No, we like them. we like mm -hmm. what they were. So if she was ratchet, if she was cussing people out, throwing shoes, when she threw a shoe on Love and Hip Hop. But, be, but you can do that on Love and Hip Hop. Well, can you tell somebody it's the, the time and place for that if that's what they are? No, she can't she be invited. Like no, no. She, she can't be invited she, to the grand event. We need to reserve her for the fish fry. Yes. And then that's when you fight. Yes, I'm going to throw the shoe at the fish fry. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to throw the shoe at the fish fry. I'm going to knock a bitch out at the motherfucking cookout. I'm going to do all that. Y'all can't tell me Aretha and all these other people that, that know how to act and all this stuff then go off sometimes and act. What, where, where's the footage of Aretha for popping patty? We didn't have Instagram back in the day. We didn't have all that. Well, listen, we know. Well, we we didn't we ain't hear about it either. We ain't hear Aretha taking her shoe off and throwing it in Patty. Amen. Okay, T.S. This is making you feel some kind of way. We need to move. It. No, we don't. We got the we got the hatch this out because this is what's going on right now. This is the topic at hand. What's going on right now? Come through. Let's go to this footage that we got. This is the audio from Queen Radio today. This is the audio from Queen Radio. Play the play the footage, please. I've never said or did. I didn't see it. Where did where where was that? Where no clue. Come from? No clue. No I clue. Flex. I have no clue. I just want to let the world know that Onika Tanya Mirage would never, has never, and will never speak ill of anyone's child. I am not a clown. That's clown shit. And what is, the other thing that's clown shit is telling, or is telling the world that someone said something just so that you don't feel fucking dumb, for looking dumb, for doing dumb shit. <laughs> Okay, so that was on Queen. That was Nikki's statement from Queen Radio. I, I just, I personally, I believe she was, she was, she was defending her. What happened? Because the lady ain't been speaking about the shit. Now we can say this: the industry loves beef, so maybe somebody told Cardi something that was not true, just to keep something going. That could have possibly happened. Come on, church. Anybody in the church today? Mm -hmm. True. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay, quiet yeah. church. <laughs> I need to hear your opinion about this because I'm waiting. Because we're judging this and I'm not on your side. With you. That's okay. I'm not on your side. And with guess you. what? I'm still going to love you. I love you too. So, I just think I think they need to make up. I think this is some bullshit. I think is 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 more is crazier shit going on in the world today. But we're not. They burn up Nikes. <laughs> but we're not. <laughs> we're talking. We're talking. But we're not. Li we're not living in that and that space right now. We let's deal with the space that we're living in. Play the rest of that footage. Okay. Because okay. Nikki ain't changed. Nikki ain't. I want y'all to listen to this. Nothing is off limit. I hate when some people come at me and it's like, oh, Cardi, why are you coming at people's kids? For? Bring it back. But I'm my mother's kid. The other night, I was a part of something so mortifying and so humiliating to go through in front of a bunch of upper echelon, and it's not about white or black. The way they pass by looking at this disgusting commotion, I will never forget. I just wanna let the world know that Onika Tanya Mirage would never, has never, and will never speak ill of anyone's child. I am not a clown. That's clown shit. Well, the other thing that's clown shit is telling, or is telling the world that someone said something just so that you don't feel fucking dumb. You knew that when that footage came out, you was about to look fucking dumb. So your publicist, who also looked dumb, they hurried up and put out a statement. And you know what? She has built her career off of sympathy and payola. That's that. Whoa. That payola. That would that be part. big. That would be big. Now, now, Nikki, that was a very large statement that you said. You said that Cardi put her, built her, her career. career off of Sympathy and, Sympathy and payola. And you, you, you agree? 
Honestly, I, I, I have to disagree with a little bit of that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm say I disagree a little bit of that because I do. I know that the people are really the people really, and you can't pay the people to like you. Right. You well, you can't can pay the people to like you, but, but but payola is more about paying the DJs okay. to play your music. Okay. That's why I said I'm by. Right. That's why I said I'm a little bit because you can't yeah. pay the DJs and you can't yeah. pay the radio station and you can't pay the people to do that because I do hear more Cardi on the radio <laughs> than I do Nikki. I did that. I mean, no shade. I do. Yeah. Every time I turn around, it's Bodak Yellow. But we're not gonna front like Bodak Yellow ain't a ain't a ain't a, ain't a motherfucking jump. Oh, that's a hit. That's a bop. That's a bop. Okay. Bodak Yellow is the motherfucking bop. We we not gonna that's fuck that's off the that's 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 that show. That's the dime drop was a hit too. And if she'd have had that financial backing, we'd have been brainwashed and enjoying that song right. just as well. It's can we hit. get? Can we get? A, it's can a we hit, get, but get, it's get. a hit, and we enjoy it because we constantly heard it. And payola is the practice of record labels paying pushing. DJs right. and pushing, and that's how music works to right. brainwash exactly. us right. psychologically. Right. How many times you heard a song that you didn't really like, but by the tenth time you right. heard it, you, you like singing to it? That is that's true. how that shit works. That is true. Because I didn't like uh, pop the pussy, pop the pussy, pop the pussy. You come through. And after the sixth pop the pussy. <laughs> what pop the pussy you talking about? I used to hear that true like pop pop pussy. Pop pussy. But which which pop the pussy song are you talking about? Is that Luther Blues? Campbell? Luther 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 what? Oh, Luther Vandross would never say Girl. anything about popping the pussy. He would never say anything about pussy. Dude. He would. Oh, Luther Vandross wouldn't even speak on pussy. Now pop the crotch. Now pop the crotch. Now that's a different thing. Okay, but this is my thing, right? Okay, so we're not gonna act like so. Uh, so a portion of the payola statement, I understand. About you. But she's also saying sympathy, meaning that the people love Cardi. The people love Cardi B because they like a come up. People like they like some up. real exactly. shit, a real story yeah. where they can look at somebody and say, okay, she was somebody where she was at a strip club, but now she's living her dreams. So me at wherever I work, I can live my dreams too. That's what people love about her. Okay. Nikki is everybody is some somebody that everybody wants to be. She's beautiful. She has a nice body. She has a great personality. She she <laughs> she's lyrically. The, one of the best uh -huh. to me. Yes. I love Nicki Minaj, but I just don't, I don't like to be forced to choose. Like, you're not going to make me, not you, but society's not going to make me choose. I like both of them. And it, I mean, and it is what it is. But, but, but you liking them is not on trial. The situation that transpired <laughs> is on well, trial. Uh, well, if it was true, I, I will say this. You so you didn't watch the video? I watched Do we the video, got the video over and over, over and over. I saw the yeah. ass, I saw the knot, I saw the feet, I saw the girl with oh, the white the shirt coming. Did you see the booty without the peach? I saw the no, what? did you see that knot though? I saw the knot. And you know what? I've been I've been trying to figure out where the hell the knots been, because them knots it only happen when you a child. You know when you a child and frogs come up and shit. I ain't seen them knots in a long ass time. Well, a knot comes to somebody knock you on the top of your motherfucking head. Who knocked in the head? Who did it though? Well, allegedly. Allegedly, they said that the security did it, but when I looked at some photographs of Nikki's hand, <laughs> I did see a couple of abrasions and things yeah. on her hand. Yeah. I did see no. that. No. Yeah. <laughs> but we gonna, we gonna, we gonna keep it cute. All right, do we got some more footage? Come on, we need to go on through this. Yeah. Give us some more footage. From Pulling a dead child a monkey, but telling people somebody talked about your child that never talked about your motherfucking child so you can get some fucking sympathy points. Okay. Now, we going to get into some things because I'm tired of people fucking lying on me. So we going to get into some things. Now, you want to talk about stopping bags, but it's two innocent girls in a strip club right now that ain't did nothing but go to the strip club and get money. Now they can't get no money, so who's stopping bags? Because you got grown-ass fucking men showing up to where the fuck they at and where they work at. They can't feed their kids. They can't feed their fucking family. You can't, They can't feed their fucking family because you mad at what another man's sticking his dick inside of. Oh, my God. You mad, you mad at a woman for what a man is doing. And that's the problem with so many black women and women, period. Oh, cause she not black. Cause she refers to you black women. Oh, we got the receipts for that too. FYI, she refers to black women as monkeys and roaches. Roaches! Well, according to Nicki Minaj on Queen Radio today, she's diagnosing uh, Cardi B <laughs> with mad at her man. <laughs> Wait a minute. She's those diagnosing Cardi B with being mad at Offset and taking it out on her. Right. Lord. She's also charging Nikki, uh, 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 Cardi B with stopping those two strippers back who just was battling or fighting in the club 
because they were they were fucking offset or something like that. And she also stated that allegedly. How are you allegedly? No, that. I, mm. How are you going to be? <laughs> <laughs> how are you going to be some motherfucking where windmilling on the next bitch? <laughs> And then saying, I'm stopping the bag when you know you used to be a scripper and you out here fighting scrippers and your man at the script club. What's the T? That part. That part. What's the T? Period. What's the T? I don't have nothing to say. What's the T? What I say is you should have had some females come and fight instead of males. I'm very disappointed. No, females did come fight. I thought she said you had some males. No, no, no. She's, no, no, Nikki. You know how much you done struck. I told you I didn't want to start. No, Nikki, what happened was two girls came up there and jumped on the, on the girl or uh on the girls. Okay, the I misheard. I thought it was some men came and jumped on no, the girl. No, what she said was you out here, these you fighting women over men. Oh. And, and you stopping these strippers' bag, and mm -hmm. you said I'm stopping bags, bitch. But you stopping these girls' bag, cause your nigga in here, and they dancing for your nigga and fucking your nigga. Offset. No, I feel you. Now I ain't got shit to say to that. <laughs> See, y'all, listen. I'm listen, just talking about one case. No, but this is an example of. You being on the fence because I just love Cardi. No, I'm not on the fence. I just I, love There Nikki. is no fence for me. I just me. love Cardi. I just love They Nikki. two different people. And you know what I'm saying? She ain't Nikki stopping bears, but I Cardi do ain't. love them too. Like <laughs> <laughs> you. See, I need to try this case with a motherfucking vicious bitch. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I do. need to try I this case with a vicious really. motherfucker. With I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. We but, had a chance. Family court. No, this ain't no family court. Go to counseling. <laughs> give me, give me, give me Mona over here. Mona want to try this case. Cause Mona, no, no, Mona, you sit right there. We putting the camera on you. Put the camera on Mona. Mona, come on now. Come on, you prosecution. Now, first, first, I'm going to say my views do not represent the Queen's Supreme Court or Nicki Minaj, but we need to throw that whole hole away. That's not how you act in the public. Now, you not. ain't act bad. Now, you ain't showed your ass before cut some ties up and pulled up one on a nigga. Church, okay, one time in church. Okay, one time in church. Look, 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 See, look, now, what if the Lord would have sent you to hell for that? Now, and you don't mess she's up your not, own she's, a, she's young. You don't mess up. You you over 21. You just had side a child. You, and she you, and her hormones are every the fucking where. Come on now. now Even on a period, the bitch is ready weeks, to fight. Listen, two weeks before she dropped that baby, she said, when I drop this baby, okay. I want all the smoke. It was premeditated. Ain't no postpartum depression. Because she got somebody ran up on her while wrong. she was pregnant. Ever since she done turned black. She got issues. See, she was Spanish first, but now she's black. And now that she's black, she thinks she got to play up this stereotype. Black. Yeah, that's not how you act. That's not how you act. <gasps> so basically, you listen, we're not here bashing Cardi at all. No, we, we want her to. But like I said. But we don't want her to represent right. us in that way. Be Spanish and do that ratchet shit, cause we trying to get our reputation. Now y'all know that the Hispanic now, and the Spanish blacks and black are both ratchet. The same way. Okay. We both ratchet not more. We both okay. united on the ratchet line. Now we are we united are, on the ratchet line. We, yes. we are trying to rebuild our reputation in public. Since when? Who with told us? When we mingling with common folk, we trying to act. We try. We Who said we trying to rebuild our reputation? We trying to behave appropriately. You don't go at a in a ball gown. Throwing shoes, fighting with your ass out. Now nah, hold on, let me play. So you go to Luke Day weekend basketball weekend. Hold on, now let me play devil's advocate. I need to play. And you fight that whole but let me play devil's advocate here. Okay. She ain't never gonna run in the Nicki Minaj except at an at a elegant gala. They was just at the Met Ball at the Met Gala. She's never gonna run into her but in a she, place. Is she not a former stripper hoe? She know how to. Don't she know how to like? Check her man text and shit. Can she find out where a bitch at? Make a few phone calls. That's where she at. That's what you do when you really want to fight this. somebody. I don't know about this. You can find them. You, I don't right. believe. I seriously don't believe Cardi B really wanted to fight. I thought she was still oh, on a reality she show. No, I she think was she was in her emotions. And jumping <laughs> over. Right. Yeah, no, because when you really right. want to fight somebody, you make sure you can get at them. You don't right. drop at them you in front of right. them. Right. 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 Real, no recognize it's real, and right. one shit real about right. that that was all reality TV. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. All right. So okay. So Mona, what? So Mona, what are we sentencing? This whole. I don't want to just sentence one. I want to sentence them. 
Okay. It's a group. I'd like to say in the, uh, a My group. Shit, I, I want to say that. I, I truly believe that Cardi B is really mad about them, them rap, them, the shade she got from Nicki in that album, and she's been getting. And she can't really match her in writing, so she wanted to fight. I see this Cardi to write her own fucking song, getting back at Nicki. Write your own rap, Nicki, lyrics, and meet her in the booth, because that's what y'all do. Y'all are rappers, not boxers. If y'all want to call Floyd Mayweather, then y'all put together a little beat down. But get in the booth, write your own lyrics, no assistance, and then you come at her that way. And then it's so. There we go. We send them to the booth to battle. All right, let's move on from this, because I don't want to say that. It's a great. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, speaking of fights that night, I don't know what was going on that night, bitch, but I don't know what was up in the air. This is why right now I'm drinking my... <laughs> I'm drinking Bacardi because allegedly, no. according to Hollywood Unlocked, Faith Evans and Mary J. Blige, oh, they did not. Okay, they did not have a fight during New York Fashion Week. I was going to Mary J. Blige. Because yes. the people were reporting that Mary J. Blige and Faith Evans was out there duking it out. They said they had them pulled a large glass of Ciroc, girl, <laughs> and say Mary J. had them waste some of all you, because you know, you know, Mary J. likes mm -hmm. her Ciroc. Uh, she likes the dark Ciroc because you need know, to come out with the dark Ciroc. <laughs> No. And bitch had me, uh, Faith had them bumped her, and the, the cup had them fell over on her Balenciagas. And um, you Is know, true? Faith ain't wore no Balenciagas in a long time, girl. Mm -hmm. You know, ever since she married uh, uh, Stevie J, bitch. Uh -huh. And so she's like, "Quit the asshole! You gonna drink that brown shit, bitch? And you gonna motherfucking knock that shit, bitch?" Oh, <laughs> bitch! That's what happened. That's what they say. But according to a uh, Hollywood unlock, the brown liquor didn't fall on her shoe. Well, they beefing but fault. I don't know nothing about it. You don't know who dicks get sucked behind the scene. You don't know. Because you know Stevie J got an anaconda. You know Stevie J got a fat back. Not fat back. Not fat back. You know the fat back that you put in greens to season the greens? Yes. Now, I want to say this about Stevie J. Don't you think he changed? Well, uh -huh. it seemed like it. Well, it seemed like it. It seemed like he didn't calm down a little bit. It's slow. What you think? It ain't happening fast enough. What he changed? It's wrong. What he changed? It seemed. It seemed like he a little more calm in the last two months. What he changed? It's wrong with women. His women's a draw. Well, maybe you know, cause Faith probably over there serenading and saying, "Your love is."
you know when you're talking like that, you about to cry and beat somebody's ass. Mm-hmm. But this is what this is what they're saying. They're, they're kind of basically finding her for being an angry black woman. That mm-hmm. sucks. Because mm-hmm. if that, it was anybody right? else, yes. and she I wasn't really right. angry. We know she was not really angry from Compton. Yeah. I'm from the west side. Yeah. I know she wasn't really angry. Mm-hmm. You from the west side of Compton? No, I'm from Inglewood. Oh, you from California? Yeah. Friend, what happened? <laughs> <laughs>
Allegedly, he was caught stealing out of uh, Fashion Nova's dress. No! Oh, hell no. Tell him to pull up on the kid. Let me get half off. Now, listen. I got two, three, four dresses that I done stretched out, young thugger. You ain't got to be out there running out of them stoles for them dresses, good. I got two, three, four dresses, honey. You got more than that, man. I got a whole heap of dresses, but God damn it, he can have two, three. We don't, we don't need young thugger. What happened? My, Oh, he got a felony warrant for his arrest. What he do, Maddie? What Girl, he did? Drug go? possession. Oh, drug possession. What kind of, what kind drug? of drugs? Girl, I don't know. Drugs. They're illegal. <laughs> Where's the evidence? Oh, right. Is there evidence of it? Of the we, drug possession? We're not going to count marijuana. Miss marijuana, it does hour. not count in this and hour. We not, we, and we not counting cocaine because you know he can snort a line, girl. What? So, I mean, Ooh. what is it? Yeah. Oh, anyway, girl. Waste of time. Okay. All right. Anyway. We go. Okay. Listen, uh, and let the police come on get him and when I got two dresses for him when he get out. Oh. All right, so moving right along to the next thing we have on the... Oh, Craig, here we go. Girl, just go ahead with the story. Craig, oh, go ahead. Lord. Next up on the court docket, Nike sales have increased 31% after controversial Colin Kaepernick ad campaign. What about Kaepernick? It's hot. You need to turn it on. Colin Kaepernick. So, listen, let me tell you something about God. Whatever the, whatever the devil meant for evil, God yeah. will turn around. He Take your emotion. He will shut the yeah. Hold on, Lord, sure. Anything that, know. listen, what God blesses, no man can curse. None of you hoes can curse. Anything that God blesses, no man can curse, honey. And that means no man and no business ran by man. Okay. Amen. Any penis. No That's right. Okay. Shandu. Shout out to them. Listen, they say the white folks out here, they burning their Nikes, and they burning their Nikes up so bad, some Rochester white man uh, accidentally burns his home down after lighting Nike shoes on fire for <laughs> protest of Colin Kaepernick's ass. You know what I say? God is a just Nike. God. That was supposed to happen. <laughs> We've been waiting all these years for a damn mule and some acres, and there it go. Listen, what we not going to do, what we not gonna we do? not going to get in the Lord's way, so we going to sentence him <laughs> to the Lord's will. We going to sentence him, yes. <laughs> That's it. Yes. All right. Um, okay. That shit now, say white gentlemen. folks burning down. <laughs> uh, speaking of white folks, houses being burnt down. George Zimmerman uh, has allegedly threatened Queen Beyonce no, the did. during what? the filming of Trayvon. Martin's documentary. Show them the seats. Why is he still alive? Ah, yeah. I'm trying to be nice, but why? It says uh, the neighborhood watch volunteer acquitted of fatally shooting the unarmed teen in 2012 called Jay Z a bitch mm -hmm. and Beyonce a broke whore what? in a text broke? message to a private investigator. <laughs> First of all, how he got Beyonce the phone number? How much no, no, he can I ask a question? Oh, investigator. So like there's a there's a documentary called Rest in Power right now and it shows the other side of the Trayvon Martin thing. Jay Z is actually the executive producer of that documentary. But what is he worth? So he's though? lashing out because of all of that. Can I ask what a question? Worth? This is what I've been wanting to know for a long time. What is Zimmerman's race? Because he don't look white. He's not yeah. white. <laughs> ah, he he looks like he should white, be down he's losing hello. his Bank like his, America his, his account. Dad is, his dad is white, but his mom is something. I'm not sure what his mom is. Zimmerman. Okay. Can somebody Google the meaning yeah, of Zimmerman? Like, I'm doing you're not, like, you immigrant Is that Zimmerman? Presbyterian or Baptist? <laughs> <laughs> it's Seven Day Adventist. No, no, it's Methodist. I'm sorry. No, actually, it's the, what's that church with the Mormon? It's Mormon. Zimmerman. <laughs> it says it's Bavarian. Pum. Bavarian. Who is that? Bavarian. Bavarian? Yeah. I'm not sure what region is. It's, it's you, white. It's right. White. <laughs> it's not, is it Anglo Saxon? It is. Okay, right. there it is. It's Anglo Saxon. But what is he worth, though? Anglo Saxon. We're going to sentence. What do you call like a musician. Did you say that? Yeah, I did right. say that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to sentence George Zimmerman. I want his dick and fingers to be cut off. That's oh, it. Oh, oh. Can you yeah. rule that? Damn. You want to rule that? Yeah. Suffering for the rest of your life. See, no dick, keep... no fingers. When you that? piss, it's going to go everywhere. Now With it's going everywhere. Oh, no, listen, no. listen, sis. When the dick come out, gonna go out, you don't really know how you're going to pee. Oh. <laughs> I don't know because I still got mine. Oh. <laughs> hey, man. What well, else? Right. Moving right along, a woman blew.
blows her fingers off after mistaking dynamite for a candle. This bitch. <laughs> she dumb. She don't deserve it. Are you dumb? Let me tell you, the Lord is tired of y'all shit. Right. Bitch, are you dumb? The Lord is tired of y'all shit. You said the Lord tired of shit. The Lord tired. He like, you know what, bitch? Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> well, we can't do no more. We can't over this because the Lord has, the Lord's will is going to be yeah, done. It's already done. I don't, so I don't care. Candles. Listen, the Lord's will is going to be done, child. So the Lord's will has been done. Uh, you know. What's going on by here? Now, speaking of the Lord's will being done, we have some footage here of a man approaching a pregnant woman inside of a parking lot and being handled. Okay. Please roll that footage. Right now. I've been recording every second, sir, since you got out of the car. Do your business. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you so much. You are about to... You on trial for them socks, your ass eating the pants like that. Okay. Oh. Your motherfucking new balances and shit like that. Bitch, you on trial for so many different things. You gonna walk up there and hit that motherfucking man. That man hit your ass back and you speak, he hit me. He hit me. Listen, you should have just took your shoe off and thrown your motherfucking shoe at the man. Okay, now, callbacks. What's the tea? <laughs> what, you, what you feel about this, sir? I think that it was right. What? You think it was what? I think that the black man was right for oh. watching. Oh, okay. Girl, oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. We're about to send you up out of here. Girl, we're about to get this bitch a Uber. Get this bitch a Uber right now. Wait a minute. Bitch. We're about to wear her own child. All right, so let me. All right. One, two, two, three. Listen, so let us get a little bit of feedback from the jury production. Jury. Let us get a little bit of feedback from you guys. You guys, are, you know, we're having a, a, a soft night tonight, honey. So we're going to get... Yes. Come on, yes. Simona, you said you want to say yes. something. Yes, I want to say something. I just want to point out, and I can't... Side by side, let's please. ...for being black. But you notice the black man had a gun, and we just finished talking about Zimmerman, right? Uh -huh. Zimmerman shot a teenager that tried to defend himself after he stalked this teenager for miles. This black man knew, even with the gun for his protection, after he had been assaulted... He could not have shot that white man because of his white privilege. Had that been a white man, he'd have shot that Negro and got off. Ooh. Mm. But that that's the state of America right there. What Colin Ka Kaepernick is, is kneeling for, because stuff like that. He couldn't even defend himself with his own weapon. And that's what pissed me off most about that. Because I'd have shot his ass in Georgia. Oh, bitch, I'd have shot him, bitch, in, in Florida. Mm. I'd have shot him. I'd have shot him. I'd have shot him. I'd have shot his ass. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean. What we gonna sentence to me? What do y'all What do y'all want to sentence? I want to sentence his ass to sixty days in a in a prison pod with all black men. 
Ooh. With big black long dicks. With big black oh. long dicks. Right. I, can't nobody be under 10 inches. And he got to be butt ass naked. And he got to be yeah. pre He got to, no, he don't, I don't want him lubed up at all. I want him, I did, I want him to eat some cheese so his booty right. can be real tight. Las Vegas. And I need, him, I need him butt fuck 24 hours a day. No okay. lube. No lube. No, no bologna no sandwich. No shit. Baby, that's it. No lube. <laughs> Your ass is sentenced. Next case. Next case. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead on and we're going to move to the next situation. Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, next up on trial, Bobby Brown, you are being charged with the Whitney, excuse me, the Bobby Brown biopic. <laughs> You're being charged with picking up cocaine off the stage and keep Jesus. dancing. Did y'all see that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you, you saw it back in the day. Uh, but he's just yesterday. he's just being tried he's just being charged with the Bobby Brown biopic. It, it was so many different things that went on in this movie. He made it seem as though that Whitney was just just heartless to him. Now listen, I, I here, here I go being biased. Okay, Girl, you hard, you know that. here I go. Yes, <laughs> here I go being biased. Because we yeah. always heard Whitney side, we've never heard Bobby right. side. And I feel Come like on, Craig. I feel Come like on, Craig. I feel like they used his his <laughs> his show his film to balance out the story. I think he needed to atone for all of the things that we've heard right, cause it's from Whitney's sides. perspective. It's right. Sides, and right? I believe that some of that shit, I, I believe some of it probably was smooth. Do you believe the Janet part? Yes. I definitely believe that he Do you believe he was long dick and dick and Janet into yes. silence? Yes. Yeah, I, I do yes. believe that. Bobby Brown long dick Janet into yes. none speaking terms, okay? Long dick to so bush that she just bust out with. Babe, she was ready. I can't. But but I definitely think that a lot of that shit that he said about Craig, Whitney. I'm singing. You oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know you, you were singing. Didn't that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, <laughs> Girl, you were so soft. I didn't hear you. Ooh, it's <laughs> <that's me. laughs> You're over. You're too loud. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyway. <laughs> There were things in the movie that I was just not buying. Okay, go First ahead. of all, we do know that his wife, Alicia, his mm -hmm. current wife, Alicia, she was an executive producer over the movie, and and, right. she, ah. and she was painted out to look very angelic. Right, okay. I now, agree. Now, Bobby Brown's sister took to Facebook, and she wore all of their motherfucking sure ass out. She said that Now, I don't know if I'm trusting her, because I don't know Is which this one. the one that was with them? I don't know drugs. which one it was or what that sold that picture to push a ticket. The no, it wasn't her. It, was it, her. Her. No, it, it wasn't her. that one. Okay. That one, we not gonna listen to that one. Oh, cause I was finna yeah. sentence her motherfucking ass to last year. Don't do it, don't do it, it won't hurt. I was about to sentence her motherfucking ass to last year. She was about to receive lashings right now. Lashings on her ass. Sentence her ass to McDonald's fry duty. But I'm not gonna front. I did watch both nights of the Bobby Brown biopic. I did feel I did feel some form of sympathy, or excuse me, not sympathy. I, I empathize okay. with Bobby because he experienced so many fragments of death and mm -hmm. from the beginning of the, the, the biopic all the way to the end. He lost his mother, his then father. he lost his father, then he lost Whitney. And, then, right. and no shade, I'm not going to even sit up here front. I feel like that Bobby Brown and Whitney Houston were soulmates. I mm -hmm. think so too. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck with them. Yes. Yes. They were drug yes. mates. Yeah. They were also would be prison mates if Whitney was not prison, <laughs> the princess of the world. Right. right. But I honestly feel, to be all, to be all honesty Next now, case. now what I want to read, what I want to read is the casting director, okay? Yes. Now listen, now the girl that got to play Bobby Christina when she was young, young, she I was, was with her. When she I got older, cute. I was like, girl, now this listen. the girl? That's Raina. That's, that's the one that played the. Oh, that's one. the ghost. It was, she was okay with about that, that but that younger ghost. girl, the chubby girl, that she was, gave yeah. me Bobby. She, right. I looked, I said, "Oh shit!" You right, know, right. the woman that played with the Giselle, what is her name? Giselle what? She did good to me. What's it's like think? Giselle Union or something. Okay. Yeah, she, what, she, what, she, what you think? Uh, what you think? First of all, I'm a very hard critic when it comes down to Whitney Houston. Yes, you are. I do not play when it comes yeah, to Whitney. You don't. Period. So, what do you? What are your critiques? Why you got this puffy jaw ass girl up here playing with Whitney? Well, listen. That girl could have played. She could have played a young Alfred Woodard. Ooh. In an oh, Alfred Woodard story, I would have rather them get. I would have rather them get Demetra McKinney because Demetra McKinney embodied yes. Whitney yes. in the Bobby yes. Christina story. Yes. Demetra McKinney embodied Whitney. Yes. 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 Yes.
I think this girl embodied Whitney too. Like in the, she did in, in, in the scene when they were in the Craig. when they were in the uh, gift Craig. shop when they were in the gift shop Craig. when they were doing oh, the, yes oh, oh, when they were doing oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. It works. It works for me. It, it didn't works. work for me. Oh my god. It, it did not it work for me. And I'm not reading that girl. That girl looks like Alfred Woodard. I'm sorry. That sounds like a man name. But t but but Angela you know, Bassett. Holiday hard. Remember Holiday hard. Oh. Right. With oh. Alfred Woodard. No. But but Angela Bassett does not look like Tina Turner, but she affected Tina. She gave you Tina. Uh, did you not see Tina in her younger year? Tina was black as fuck. <laughs> and mother. No, Tina was good. Yeah, Tina was black. Man. Tina was blacker than the motherfucker, and she and she she did not have this did English she, accent that she got now. Right. Did she so not? Tina Turner did give me. There were four. There were there were. I could gl glance at her and feel it. I didn't feel this with Whitney. I'm sorry. That not girl, even this. Not even this. That girl gave me crackhead Whitney. Hello? That, no, no. She, she had crack. Girl, I oh, listen, that, girl, that girl did not give you no crackhead Whitney with them puffy ass jaws. <laughs> that, girl, oh, that, no. that girl had puffy jaws. That girl could have played Alfred Woodard. A younger Alfred Woodard in an Alfred Woodard movie. I don't give a fuck what you say. Now, they could have had, for me, they could have got Demetri McKinney again. I don't know if Leah Leah Daniels casted this. I doubt it. Because no, it Leah, was uh, Robbie Reed. Because when Leah Daniels cast, she cast according like Leah got. She cast it for that Bobby Christina movie. Right. And that girl that played Bobby Christina in the Bobby Christina story looked like Bobby Christina. And that she girl exactly. and Demetra McKinney did not fuck off playing Whitney Houston in that movie. You did you watch it? I did, and I and I think Demetria did a good job. I don't understand why they didn't bring her to this one as well, because they did that with the uh, new edition movie. You know, a lot of those same actors from that played those other characters. They right. brought them over to this one. Yeah, so I don't know why know, they didn't. But my thing is, girl, I, I was over it. I did not feel it. I mean, I, there were things that I believed that I didn't believe. First of all, we can't get over deep into something because we were not there. Right. So like did you get did you get into Whitney's uh, biopic? I was hitting with Whitney's biopic. Okay. Even the one with Demetrius McKinney, and I was reading them for film. I yeah. read, I read every anything that have anything to do with Whitney. I read for film. Yeah. That's just what it is. Okay. I read them for filth. Period. I read the girl with the puffy jaws for filth. <laughs> girl. Oh. I just felt like that puffy jaw girl and have no business playing Whitney. She could have played the in 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 Whitney. When Whitney was a little bloated. When she was bloated and had emphysema and, Girl. and, Girl. and, she, was, and she was on the motherfucking antibodies blowing her stomach up like that. Oh God. Oh, Lord. But at this moment, no. We repent. No, I'm not going back to it. <laughs> Hey, that's so, my favorite part. I'm sentencing her to play the Alfred Alfred Woodard story. Okay. Live on uh <laughs> 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 John. Shim John. Yeah. Was he Haitian? Yeah, I believe he was Haitian. He was I Haitian. I like that. He looked cute. That's a nice name. Yeah. That's a nice name. Okay. I need to understand how to. Oh wait. So this woman walked into. You know the she wrong. owns some bullshit. First off, Later. fuck you, bitch, and the click you claim. Right. All right. Okay. So Nisi <laughs> Nash stated the officer was on the wrong floor, tried to use her key, which of course didn't open his door, so he answered the door and was killed. Now the officer is on paid administration leave. Like hey, his investigated. Why are you on paid leave for? I'm so sick of it's this shit. It's a woman. It's a white woman. Because now she's been charged. charged. She's been charged with manslaughter now. Just manslaughter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so bitch, y'all lived in the same apartment building, and you were on the. You she was on the wrong floor. So you don't know the floor to your apartment they building. They gave her a blood oh, test. Oh. They gave her a blood test to see if she was intoxicated. Right, they're testing her for all of that stuff. Oh, uh, she didn't piss it out now. What do you mean they testing her? Okay. The dirt over here. Did she Audience. know the, the okay, wait, did, did she have a sexual encounter with this I have family? to say allegedly. Okay. Because I'm not hundred percent sure, but the neighbors are saying that they were a couple and they dated before Shut and up. the cops have been called before because the woman had mm -hmm. issues. So it's it seems like the girlfriend broke into just happened to be a cop 
and broke into her ex boyfriend's house and shot his ass. No, but no, it, no but it's stating that he That's stuck the sh that he answered the door. Yeah, to for his girlfriend, the cop was the ex girlfriend. That's allegedly okay. Allegedly, that mm. the cop is actually a, a former girlfriend. Allegedly, mm. I don't. That's just what I read online. A couple of well, we of over here at the Queen Supreme Court is sentencing her to a ass whooping in jail by all black women. By too team. lenient. We're sentencing her <laughs> to, <lenient. laughs> to a firing a firing squad outside of that same apartment complex. Uh -huh. She's to, she's to be shot on multiple occasions. <laughs> she's to be raised. Her body is to be raised up, and she's to be shot down until there's no more. Flesh left. Okay. Girl, can she bleed dope slow to death? No. Well, she's she's going to be shot to she dead, and then they're going to raise yeah. her up and then shoot her again. Yeah, and throw bleach on her. She's yeah. over the dead, girl. And then they're yeah. going to shoot her again and then pour bleach to get the stain off her. Girl, she's over the dead. And a correction like to the that. story he's not Haitian, he's from St. Lucia. Okay. And that's fine. Is that Jamaican? No, that's no. more. No, that's yeah. in the yeah. West Indies. Who yeah. said was that that's Jamaican? That's, that's West that's Indies, Haiti, right? No, it's not. On, uh, all right, yeah. so let's move on. I've I've, I've, I've already rendered rendered my sentence. She's to be killed by a firing squad. So a black okay, a black team was arrested. What, Craig? What is this? He was in the car with his white grandmother, and oh, there were yeah. passersby who called the police, thinking that this this boy was in the car, accosting or robbing or kidnapping this white woman, but it was actually his grandmother. So that was what? a story by USA Today. So a young black man on his way home from church with his grandmother was handcuffed by police in Wisconsin. You know you can't be black in Wisconsin. Y'all get the fuck You're out of Wisconsin. You're not even Wisconsin. I'm gonna order his ass to get out of Wisconsin. The only thing in Wisconsin right. that's colored is the cheese. You know the right. cheese is yellow and the dicks is white in Wisconsin. Hello? Hello? God damn it, get out of Wisconsin. <laughs> right now. I'm gonna sentence his ass to go to Compton. <laughs> yes. Go no, he don't need to go to Compton. Them fucking crap. white folks need to go to goddamn Compton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we want to go ahead now at this time because we've gotten down to the last part of our of our docket. And here, if you guys are suffering with a substance abuse problem or anything like that, girl, that's it's really not the way. Mac Miller is dead from an apparent overdose. Now, I don't know Mac Miller like that, but I, I but he's big in the music industry. I'm not sure. I might know a song. You know, I didn't put a song to the face, but I'm just worried about the overdose part. We've lost so many different artists to overdose. Amen. Mm -hmm. Proverfall, Combavia. Uh, nobody caught that good. So, <laughs> oh, I caught, oh, I caught Combavia. You did? Oh, yeah, I did Johnny catch it. Serious. That's one of the HIV drugs for the kids that don't know. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> oh, well, I which one died with that oh, overdose? Oh, I caught it. But anyway, Mac Miller is Ooh. dead from the from the apparent overdose girl, and it, this is too. This is this is sad. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really, it really is sad. This is sad, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what's going on out there in your life, in the world, your life, child. Listen, seek help. Yes, and he died on his twenty sixth. He died on his twenty sixth birthday. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a moment of silence for Mac Miller. Amen. And for all the people out there that are struggling with substance abuse and depression. depression. Right. Amen. Sorry. Listen, they in listen, they in heaven right now or uh, wherever they at getting judged. We we Bitch, we gotta get our own souls together. Hello. I'm telling you, Lord. Bitch, y'all give us one second, girl. girl. Don't count this yeah. thing. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're at the end of our docket right here. And you know, we are down to one oh. gotta go. Oh, my God. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta on go. tonight's one gotta go, we have Selena Johnson. Okay. I don't know her. Heather Headley. I know her. No. Okay. Uh, Vivian Green. I know okay. her. Okay. Uh, and no. Sunshine Anderson. Okay, okay, first one. Okay, okay. okay. Is, do we have anybody in here that knows how to sing? I do. Oh, I do. Go ahead, girl. All right, Emmy, so here we go. Can we get, can we get, oh, you can sing, sister? Okay, sister, I need you to. No, you you have to. You have to. You have to. Sister, all right, we will, we'll, we'll, we'll put this. Okay, all right, where's your shoes? Come over here by me. Okay, I need. No, no, don't, don't, don't take it away. Don't take it away, Vince. Put it side by side. Put it back side by side. So, Selena Johnson. 
Do we remember anything from Selena Johnson? Well, well. YouTube it. All falls down, Kanye West. Waiting up. Yes. And it all falls down. Well, they can say she's the ass brother. But one of them, what's the ass brother name? What's the ass brother name she's the same with? I don't know those people. Okay. Who the other three? Okay, then we got <laughs> Heather, Heather Headley. <laughs> is. <laughs> you know Heather Headley. Yeah, yeah. Can you give me something? Yes. 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 Right. Come on, Come on. No, why? Yes. In my mind, let's go. I'll always yeah. be right here, right here. a lady. Hey. In my mind, in my mind, Heather Headley is on the docket. Right, right, right. 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 I don't want to sing, but she's walking up here. Right. In my mind, I can't go that low. Okay, you can go. go. All right, well, yeah. give me, give, well, give me something from. Uh, give us some octave. From, uh, from, uh, 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 What's the other little, the roller coaster? Heather Headley. Roller coaster? No, no, we just said uh, Heather Headley. Oh, give me something from Vivian Green. Vivian Green. Okay, what she say? Uh, Last night I cried, tossed and turned. Uh -huh. Woke up with dry eyes, my mind was racing. She on a docket. <laughs> no, no. Why? What? <laughs> Why she is not on a docket? Okay. Tour, All right. Now give, us, now, now give us some sunshine, Anderson. Come home, lady. Hey, he said she could have been there. Tapping my shoulders, thinking you gon' get you some. Smelling like the fragrance that, that I don't even wear. wear. So if you want some loving, I suggest you go back there. Where you came from?
like and okay. I'm, I'm an empath. I'm an empath. It's the energy, sis. It's the energy, sis. It's the energy. I've watched her on stuff. I don't. I think that she, I, I think that she <laughs> has. She gives. She gives. I don't want to say it because I don't know, so I'm not going to use certain words. Okay. okay. Maybe she's misunderstood. She I might be like misunderstood, it. but I don't. She, listen, I, I don't got to li I listen. I'm, she did a couple songs by. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Badies. <laughs> Everybody else, I'm all right with. Okay. And then you know. Shondo. That's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been our show. Please join us for the after show on my Instagram page at the Real T S Madison. We do thank you for joining us tonight, honey. Thank you so honey. much, guys. We had a good time. Thank you for being my co-host. I even enjoyed myself. Yes, you did. Woo! situation out. Please make sure you call in tonight. The call-in number is 515-604-9300 access code 9288 motherfucking 4. Repeat it again. 515-604-9300 access code 92884. Look at her head is out. <laughs> <laughs> Only her head is never out. And we're gonna leave with this right here. Oh shit, I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. Hey!